Time now for the Friend Zone. We invite one of our friends from within the building here at Fox onto the show. And tonight, we're joined by our friend, the one and only Geraldo Rivera. Ladies and gentlemen, Geraldo, it's great to see you. You too. I want to join you in a, a big issue. I, I agree that we should oppose the pardon of Peyton Manning. I mean, if that guy has to sing <laughs> nationwide is on your side, nationwide is on, one more time. I mean, please, enough. <laughs> My head is still spinning. So I'm a Geraldo fan. Some of our viewers don't like your politics, but I always say I love Geraldo. And you know who else loves Geraldo? Apparently, Donald Trump. Donald I heard you got a is a good guy. He's a good friend of mine. I, I like him very much. I, I love his family. He's very good to me during Celebrity Apprentice. We've known each other for over four decades. He graciously invited me up to the tower. The picture you saw taken with my lousy Samsung camera. Uh, he he really is someone who's a real mensch. He's a, a real down to earth person. He remembered he and Melania remembered my wife Erica's name. They remembered Soul uh, being 10 years old last year during Celebrity Apprentice. 11 years old now. Invited us to the White House that totally psyched about moving into the White House, unlike uh, some people who felt that they uh, would feel it was slumming to live in the White House with Mar-a-Lago and the Trump Tower 66th floor and everything. Uh, you know, just a very, very gracious guy. We disagree, obviously, on lots of policies, uh, but I was glad that he let bygones be bygones. He is my president now. He's all of our president, the 45th president of the United States, 41st person to have that honor in the long history of the republic, and I say we all get behind him and give him a chance. But what I found so interesting about it, and I think those are nice sentiments, but what was interesting was he didn't just let bygones be bygones. He reached out to you without prompting and just called you and said, hey, Geraldo, I'm moving to Washington, but I want to see you before I go. Did the, I get that right? You, you did. Let, let me just give you 30 seconds on what happened. When I got back, I was with the family in Africa and uh, in Europe over the holidays, came home, and the first thing we hear about is that the Republicans in the House of Representatives are disemboweling, uh, trying to uh, dis, uh, uh, disconstruct the ethics office, and Trump stopped them dead in their tracks. Yeah, and I did. tweeted out, there's a new sheriff in town, drain the swamp. Uh, the GOP is in charge of, of Washington. Donald Trump is in charge of the GOP. And he wrote me back, uh, you know, his secretary Meredith sent me a copy of those two tweets. And he wrote on the tweet, I miss you, love Donald. And I called immediately and I said, my goodness, let me, uh, let me see you before you go down there. He said, where are you right now? I said, I was here at uh, Fox headquarters on 47th. I ran up to 56th Street, went right up. Uh, to his office, the transition office uh, there on the 26th floor. And, uh, you know, it was terrific. It was like uh, being with my old pal, uh, you know, the immigration squabble and all the other things were, were in the past. It was just two guys who have known each other for four decades more. Uh, and I just wished him well. And I was very honored to be there with the first family elect. And I, I, I just, I am so disappointed by these plans to boycott and yeah. delegitimize the president. It's just so unnecessary. It really is. Well, it's so reactionary. So I just got to ask you, we're, we're almost out of time, but you've been around for so long, you know, so many people. I want you to confirm or shoot down a suspicion I have long had that all famous people know each other and you kind of <laughs> get together in private <laughs> venues and sort of roll around in your famousness. Is that true? I, I don't know if that's true, but I, I will tell you this. Donald Trump put me on television a lot more than Megyn Kelly ever did. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that. I mean, there's just no chance I'm going to respond to that. I'm everyone's friend here. <laughs> but when you, go see, when you go see Trump, I mean, are there like other famous people in the room? Uh, Senator Blunt and his wife were there from uh, Missouri. Uh, he has some role in the, uh, in the inauguration in uh, security, I believe. Uh, and he set the, the stage for me. He said, as I came in, he said, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Trump, uh, Geraldo was the first one to predict that you were going to be the GOP nominee. And uh, Donald said, yes, I know, I know. And so what happened after that was, you know, irrelevant because I was there at the beginning. Hilarious. You're the best, Geraldo. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, I appreciate man. it.